Hi guys, it's me, Lunar. Welcome back to another Skyrim Custom Mod update video for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Today we have six new mods to look at for the game, three for each console as always. There's quite a lot of new mods out for Xbox One today, so I'm pretty sure we will have new mods all of this week for the Xbox anyway to look at, so no older mods. That's kind of a cool thing for a change. Anyway guys, before we get into this one, what do you guys think of the way my game looks right now? I tried to make it as best I could for the graphics as possible because I'm going to make a video on the best graphic mods to get for your game to look this good. And I will obviously show you guys all the mods I have installed and the load order. So let me know what you think of the way I look and I will start making the video after that. I want them to look as good as possible before I do. Also guys, follow me on Twitter. I've had like 50 new followers since last week, so thanks for that as well. Anyway, we have six mods to look at, so here is our first mod of the day. Our first mod is a new practical player home that's been added between Whiterun and Riverwood for the Dragonborn that has one simple goal in mind. Reduce time and headache through simplicity and organization. There are three female merchants who live in the house, one for each level, and that means the levels of the house. There's three levels in the house. And there are two fishermen and two hunters who have set up camps outside of the property who trade in their own trades. Each merchant has 10,000 gold in their inventories. They collectively buy and sell all types of items. You now don't have to run to town to sell your loot. You can just go home put away the things you want to keep and sell the other things that you don't want to and you can get back out there. Coupled with that, all the crafting equipment, and alchemy stations, enchanting stations, and everything else is also in the house. All chests and barrels are 100% safe for storage as well. Followers and companions may access the house, although there's not really space for them. On the inside of the house, it's just a regular house like many that you find in any town or city. The one unique feature is that it has storage that's named for convenience, such as storage for selling stuff, storage for scrolls, and in the basement where the forge is, there's many more storage things like stuff for weapons, armors, ammo, etc. So it's a simple house but if you're looking for a quick and organized place to store and sell all your junk easily then this is a good house for you. Our next mod is a very small but simple one and it makes a big difference. This mod just replaces the sun's ray effects and sun's DDS files to something better. So if you're looking for a better looking sun, then check this mod out. And I have to say I do really prefer this sun than the vanilla one and I'm going to keep this one installed. Next up we have Dungeon Gold Vault. This mod adds in a new dungeon to Riverwood that contains lots of gold. The dungeon entrance is in Riverwood beside a large statue and you can just go to the statue and you will see a trapdoor. This is just a quick mod to give your character maximum money or as much money with a renewable source to do with whatever you want with. You have chests that have 60,000 gold in each of them, which is the maximum amount allowed, and mud crabs that you can kill that respawn, which each have 50,000 gold on them each. Now I like this mod, but the only thing I'm wondering is why do we need so much gold? I worked out the gold chest room alone has 39,960,000 gold in it. So I'm not too sure why we need that much gold. I think 200,000 is probably enough to buy everything in the game I could ever use. So if you like this mod, then you can download it. Although I think it needs to hand in something a bit more than gold in order to be a useful mod. Next up, we have the Useless Shop and Interior Overhaul. The Useless Shop and Interior Overhaul helps to make some of the shops in Skyrim more realistic and immersive. So for features, the mod covers all shops in Whiterun and makes changes to the way they look. You get new changes to every shop, and that includes both of the taverns, the Banner and Mayor, and the Drunken Huntsman. There's loads of cool stuff added, barrels, benches, tables, plants, all the furniture, the lighting, everything is completely changed and improved in all of the buildings. All of these changes make shops more immersive and realistic, so it can make your time in Skyrim more enjoyable. All the new items and changes to the shops and interiors use high quality textures and meshes to make things look as awesome as possible. And finally, some new music has been added to the Drunken Huntsman on top of the new awesome interior. Overall though guys, this mod makes the shops in Whiterun look absolutely amazing now, and this mod is definitely worth downloading. Hopefully the author continues to improve more interiors for the rest of the towns and cities in the game. So I'm 100% keeping this mod installed. And also in case you're wondering, I have loads of graphic mods installed and I haven't had any clashes with it so far. Our next mod is Improved Vorstag. Vorstag is many people's favourite looking male companion and also makes for one of the best male marriage options, but as a follower he can be a bit annoying and clumsy when sneaking and attacking he's not so strong and he dies easily. So these are some changes to try and improve him to be a better follower. He's upped his level cap to 90 and he will level up with you, whereas before you can see in the video he was level 40, changed his class from one handed warrior to combat ranger, trained in light armour, one handed weapons, shield, archery and sneak now, has muffled movement and light foot perks so he won't affect the stealth meter. 
He is essential so he won't die, and he's kept his default skilled armor which he's now trained to use, but he's added an imperial bow to his inventory, the default hunter bow will still be there as well. So basically he's been leveled up, added sneaking abilities, and he's changed so he attacks from range more than he does close up, which he is better suited for. So if you want a better Vorstag, then check out this mod, he is found in the Silverblood Inn in Markarth if you're looking for him. Our final mod is called Better Vampire NPCs 1.3. This mod improves all the generic and named vampire NPCs in the game, except for the three main ones, Serana, Valerica, and Harkon. It does not require better vampires, and it can be used with any other vampire overhaul without conflict. But if you do happen to use any other vampire mods, make sure you load this mod after any of the other ones. The vampires in this mod will spawn according to your level now. Have different spells, unpredictable AIs, varied armors according to their class and level, and even special weapons you haven't seen before. Vampire appearances will change slightly, they're stronger, more efficient vampires, and they are increasingly paler. Some vampires will turn into a mist when they are low on health, some will use a blink attack to teleport beside or behind you, vampire weapons can affect you with sanguinaire vampires now, and unique classes of vampires attack differently. All armors and weapons that you might find on these new vampires have new temper recipes, so you can improve them if you wish. Vampires will scale in level and power with you all the way from level 1 to 130. Some named vampires can go even higher. Many abilities also scale with the vampire level, so be prepared for them to put up more of a fight at higher levels. One of the cool things that this mod adds as well is that vampires can also now drop vampires blood gems upon death, or if you're a vampire yourself you can craft them if you have 25 enchanting and 25 alchemy skill. The vampires blood gems can be smelted into blood glass ingots which can be used to craft a brand new blood glass weapons that can easily be found at the forge. You must have the glass smithing perk in order to make them. They're slightly less powerful than Daedric weapons, but they have the added effects that are independent of any enchantments that you might add. Blood glass weapons have a rare chance on strikes to do the following things. Reduce enemy damage output for 10 seconds, or reduce enemy stamina, magicka and heal rates for 10 seconds, or reduce enemy movement speed and attack speed for 10 seconds, or absorb health, which is 50 health, or very rarely kill an enemy and infect them with blood plague which can spread to others nearby. Killing a bleeding out enemy may absorb their life force and recharge ready enchanted weapons. So you have a chance to do all those cool things, well just one of them and the final one as well, if you attack with the weapon, and the added effects on these weapons can be disabled if you want to though. When you first start the mod you will be given a vampire blood gem, to customize this mod sneak and crouch then use the blood gem in your inventory and that's how you alter the different effects. Finally guys, for compatibility with other mods, this mod must load after any other mods that affect NPC's appearance or the face gen data will not match and you'll get that horrible glitch effect on their faces. But overall guys, a really cool vampire mod. Well guys, there we have it, six brand new console mods for you to download and try out for yourself if you like the look of them in today's video. I want to thank all of you for watching and I'll be back again soon with more Skyrim videos. If you want to keep up to date with all my latest releases, click on the subscription button on the screen if you haven't done so yet, or click on my link to my previous video to keep up to date with all my latest content, including more mods, guides, and news every single day. Turn on notifications, the little bell thing next to the subscribe button as well to get notified of my latest videos as soon as they come out. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more information. Well, with all that being said guys, until next time, stay awesome! And I will see you all in the next video.